Okay, so I'm at 1.1 million. That looks good. I have subdivision levels. Symmetry is on. Uh, because I had bad geometry, I've got like, you know, I can see these polygons. So I'm just going to do a deformation polish over the whole thing. And that's just going to go through my whole mesh and slightly polish things. So we went from here to here. It's cleaned up a lot of that stuff. I'm just going to come in by hand, smooth out some of this. If it really is having a trouble smoothing, I can take this down to a lower subdivision level, come in and smooth some of that out, and then slowly bounce back up to that higher subdivision level and keep going and then smooth that way. Okay. That looks that looks fine. So one thing that's nice about lower subdivision levels is I can make big changes to my mesh. Honestly, I hate how, not flat, but like these aren't flat. Here, let me show you what I mean. Let's go to move topological. I would like them to be angled down more, something like that. And they were like very much facing out to the side. So let's do something like that. So I can make these changes no problem and not really have to worry about screwing up my geometry. So if I were to make changes here, right, it's very tough because the, the poly count is so high. But if I were to make big changes here, this is a piece of cake. Everything's good. And then my details are all still there. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit more shaping. Something like that. We need a few more spikes up here. Um, really, I'm not going to worry about those. So anytime you've done subdivisions, I really don't need to... Well, I really don't want to be stretching the geometry too far because remember, this is just stretching that geometry. Um, and it's not adding geometry like Sculptors Pro would be. But the whole point of doing that uh, projecting of the history and getting good geometry, now I can come in and get some awesome details and it's not lagging at all. So let's zoom in and really hammer out some of these wrinkles. And remember, I usually don't stop there with the damn standard. I like to come and then do these perpendicular kind of stuff with the clay buildup, just build up those forms. Just makes it seem a little bit more believable instead of just, you know, cuts in the, in the flesh. Those cuts really are just like kind of guides to help me get to here. So we went from just those little cuts right here, right there, right? That looks super, super boring. And then we use clay buildup on each side of that. And that is a lot more appealing, feels a little bit more natural. And I don't have any lag, which is super nice. Oh yeah, let's do something here. This hasn't got much love. I'm gonna do these kind of squiggle cuts, maybe make it feel just a little bit more natural. That's good enough. Not in love with this little neck flap. Um, maybe I could be though. Let's go to move topological, lower this subdivision level. Just make this maybe just like a little more natural.
cool cloth brushes. Cloth nudge. That's the one. Okay, so it says I need to go down in subdivision levels. Okay, so my subdivisions were just too high, so I brought this way down. And you can see if I go crazy with it, I get some neat wrinkles. Actually, we want this whole thing. I'm going to use that contrast delta brush to maybe beef this little area up. Kind of that ridge that got lost. Okay, let's make a tooth to set in there. Subtool, insert. Let's just do a sphere. We're going to scooch this out. And let's zoom in so we can see what we're making. I want to make this awesome one so super easy to do lots of ways to do it i'm going to use some of these uh modifiers here so press w press the gear let's use taper and then you're going to grab this little arrow all right so now i've tapered that what is going on i need to update the drivers or something then we're going to scale this direction so that really nice point let's press w let's do Bend curve. Actually, we have to accept this. Now let's hit bend curve. Let's grab the orange one because that's our points. Let's do four points. And then you just grab these and you can bend these around. Okay, has a neat shape to it. I'm going to hit the gear again, press accept, and I'm going to Z-remesh this because it's just not good geometry here. There we go. So something super low, we can use our move topological brush. Adjust, adjust this. Let's make this like a little thinner this direction. Oh yeah, a little fatter up there. Let's pinch. I love it. Now let's divide a few times. Finish. I don't love that shape. Okay. Go up in subdivisions. Actually, I don't like this little point here. I'm going to smooth that out. There we go. Now, damn standard. Let's divide once more. I would like that to be a little pointier. Back to pinch. <clears throat> now might be a good time to try that H polish brush. All right, there's my tooth. So I'm gonna go solo mode, put that in the center. Let's go like this, and we're gonna create an insert mesh brush. So we need to do it from this direction. Insert mesh, create insert mesh, new. 
Okay, so if I click the body itself, it says I can't because I have subdivision levels. In this case, I just have some eyes, right? And I'm on the eye, but I can like draw this out and it's kind of like sticking to my mesh, which is where I want it. I've went ahead and adjusted the depth. By default, it was doing something like this and they're kind of floating. Don't like that, so brush change that depth now it's going to be embedding those just a little bit better do this let's do one big one and then i press w and i can move rotate scale get this into position how i like move on to the next one and i will be able to adjust these later if I want. Now I'm just going to use the same thing, but I didn't have, I forgot to turn on symmetry. So we'll just have to mirror this later. So we're going to do one there. We're going to do a big one right there. Kind of smaller one. We'll have a gap. He like lost a tooth or something. Okay, there we go. So remember, this is still attached to the eyeball. So I'm going to clear my mask, go to split to similar parts, and then I have my eyeball, I have my teeth. At this point, let's go to geometry, modify topology, mirror, and weld to do the other side. Looks excellent. Yeah, that looks okay. Not too bad. I'm going to use H polish on the scales. And let's actually make this a little lower. We're just going to hit some of these forms. They just seem really soft, and I don't like how soft they look. So this is going to make them a lot kind of sharper. There we go. That's cool. I'm not being afraid to press too hard. Go, that looks better. 